The Stegosaurus was a land reptile just a little smaller than a human, capable to move around and run on two legs. Its name means thick head, and it's thanks to this very aspect and its strength that it was able to defend itself and withstand virtually any impact. With a tapered face that formed a type of beak, the Stegosaurus fed on plants and leaves, grazing in woods like a goat of today. The Lystrosaurus is an ancient relative of the current mammals, a reptile that's a little similar to a pig in appearance and size. With a beak similar to that of a tortoise and two protruding fangs, the Lystrosaurus lived on desert-like plains, feeding on plants and leaves. It lived for millions of years in various parts of the world, becoming the most common animal on Earth. The Therisinosaurus was an enormous and funny reptile, able to walk on two legs with a beak-like face and feathers similar to those of a hen, with three huge claws like sickles from which it gained its name, Sickle Lizard. Despite their length, they were used to tear leaves from trees, as this animal was a herbivore. Its brightly colored feathers were a symbol to make it more attractive to other dinosaurs.
the Icarocerus was a small reptile that lived in the forests similar to a lizard, with two bird-like wings that it used as a parachute. These wings were folded back on its body, and when it opened them, it could glide from one tree to another, using them to float along the air. Its name originates from the mythical Icarus, the young Greek who built false wings to fly up close to the sun. The Dracorex was a medium-sized reptile who fed on plants and leaves, able to move around on two legs, just like humans. This enabled it to run and use its thick and tough skull to fight, charging like a running bull. Its name, meaning King of Dragons, comes from the strange tips that surround its head, making it look like a king's crown. The Rampharynchus was a small reptile, about as big as a bat, with a long tail and wings to enable it to fly. Its curved mouth, filled with teeth, acted as a trap while it flew around hunting fish and insects. The tip of its tail, similar to a leaf, probably served as a rudder to help it change direction while flying.
The Quetzalcoatlus was an enormous flying reptile similar to a stork, with wings, a long sharp beak, and a crest like that of a cockerel. It was able to fly at great heights thanks to the length of its wings, then to glide over the land, hunting for prey like a falcon. Due to its size and long neck, when it walked on all fours, it was even similar to a giraffe. The Diplocaulus was a very funny-looking amphibian, like a large salamander with a head in the shape of a boomerang. Academics say that this strange shape helped it move better in water, making it a very able swimmer. It also had a long, flat tail, which helped it move smoothly and gave it a boost whenever it wanted to catch fish, crustaceans and insects. The Lipluridon was a sea reptile similar to a crocodile, but with four fins in place of feet. It was as big as a whale, but a lot more fierce, scaring off all other inhabitants of the sea, where it swam around in the deep. It was a very good swimmer and loved fish. With its enormous mouth filled with sharp teeth, it could eat vast quantities of any size.
The Shonisaurus was the largest sea reptile that ever existed, even larger than a whale or sperm whale. With four lower fins and one on top to move through the sea, its long face made it look like an enormous big-bellied dolphin. And just like dolphins, it loved to eat fish and squid, which thanks to its huge eyes, it was even able to detect in complete darkness. The Brachiosaurus was an enormous reptile as tall as a house and weighing the same as eight elephants. Although its name means arm lizard because of its long arms, the longest part of its body was its neck, which enabled it to reach parts other animals could not touch. It was a herbivore that only ate tree leaves and lived in herds of its own kind, like enormous prehistoric cows. The Elasmosaurus was a large sea reptile with four fins in place of legs and a long neck ending with the head of a crocodile complete with a set of sharp teeth. The Elasmosaurus was a glutton for fish and because it wasn't a fast swimmer, it used its long neck to reach and catch them. Some people are convinced that one of these has survived until today, hiding away in Loch Ness in Scotland, the now famous monster of the lake.
The Basiloceros was an ancient sea reptile as big as a whale, but with a head. The Basiloceros was an ancient sea reptile as big as a whale, but with a head like a crocodile and a mouth full of extra sharp teeth. Its mouth was huge, holding a whole 44 teeth, but no fish ever got near enough to count the exact number. Its name means Emperosaurus because without a doubt, no other creature in the ocean could match its strength. The Dunkelosteus was an enormous sea creature, very similar to a modern-day fish, but as big as a shark. Its head and mouth were completely covered by a touch armor and fangs, which frightened off the other inhabitants of the sea. Despite its looks, this was a vertebrate animal with a skeleton, and thus different from the fish we know today. The Allodesmus was a very large aquatic animal, a little like an enormous prehistoric seal. It had big, sharp teeth and loved to eat crustaceans and fish, and when necessary, did not shy away from fighting over food with its adversaries. It was also very protective over its den, to the point of even going without food for months in order not to leave its home unprotected.
Hainoceros was an enormous sea reptile with a tapered body and a large mouth full of sharp fangs. Thanks to its fins, similar to oars, and its flat tail used as a rudder, it was extremely agile in the water. The features that made the Hainoceros stand out from the other sea reptiles was its long, straight, triangular head, which it used to butt enemies at full speed, a little in the same way as dolphins do today. Edmontonia was a four-legged reptile as big as a hippopotamus with an armored shell similar to that of a tortoise. Long armored spikes and parts protruded from its back and tail, making it unassailable like an ancient fortress. It was nonetheless a peaceful creature that rather than using its armor to fight, preferred to chew on grass and plants like a cow. The Injucotherium was an ancient mammal and the largest that has ever existed in all history and the world. Its appearance was a little like a rhinoceros without a horn, but its weight was comparable of that of four elephants. Its long neck was similar to that of another mammal, the giraffe, and it probably also used to graze on the leaves of the tallest trees. 